What's up guys, this is Steve. How's everybody doing? I'm about to show you guys how to play Steam games on your Nvidia Shield TV using GeForce Now Beta. Uh, I thought this was pretty easy to do, but it's been a lot of comments lately about it. And I actually got asked a few times during my last live stream about it. So I thought I'd make another video so I can direct people to that video on how to get started using it. Before we get started though, the best way to support me and the channel is simply by liking the video, giving me the thumbs up, sharing the video and helping somebody else. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and join that notification squad. Turn your notifications to always so you're reminded when I upload videos on YouTube. All right, let's get it popping, y'all. So what is Steam? Steam is a... Uh, the best way I can explain it is it pretty much is a gaming store. It's a gaming store that's usually um, used on PC and it has thousands of different games. Some of these games are free. Some of these games cost money. What's so good about it on the Nvidia Shield TV is it allows you to play these games at 1080p 60 frames per second without the need of a PC. So that's pretty special. And you can also game with other people, you know, if it's that same game that's playing on the Nvidia Shield TV or PC users. Common question asked, Steve, can I play NBA 2K on my um, Steam on, on the Nvidia Shield TV against somebody on Xbox or PS4? No. But if they have a Nvidia Shield TV and using Steam, or they're using Steam on their PC, um, yes. So the first thing you guys need to do, I encourage you guys to do, uh, you don't have to do this way, but I think it's just easier. If you do not have a Steam account, make one. It's free. So you'll go here, you create your an account and stuff like that. I also put this link in the description of the video. So it's good to have all your accounts made. You know, I make all my accounts before actually I uh, go on to them on the Nvidia Shield TV. So after you make your Steam account, we're going to go to Nvidia Games. So I can go down here to Nvidia Games or I can just click that icon, Nvidia Games. All right. Now we can go all the way down to settings. And I usually go to login first. So we're going to log in. So you should have an Nvidia account. I think everybody with Nvidia Shield TV should have an Nvidia account. You know, I think that's one of the steps you have to do when you first start off your Shield. If you skip that part, definitely make one. So I'm going to go to that website. You can do this on your PC or you can do it on your phone. Now I'm going to enter that code. I'm going to allow it. I got to grant the uh, permission for this NVIDIA Shield TV to be used under my account. So now we have GeForce Now. So I can go to my library. Make take a minute. And this is actually, I don't think this is my full library. Or this is, this could be the playable games. In the library. Now it's two things you guys got to know. It's going to move crazy when you first log in. Once you go to GeForce Now, let's go all the way down to type. And let's click enter on GeForce Now. Now these are all the games already saved on the uh, GeForce Now cloud. Meaning if you own any of these games from Steam, 
you do not have to download it it's a easy you know it's easy to go through let me give you guys an example of one so these are already downloaded on cloud let's see I know I got one of these games Also, this is just not Steam games. I apologize. It's also you play games as well. Some of them. So I have Injustice 2. Let's press on this. Let's press Enter on Play. Analyze the network. You will need good network communication for playing these games, guys. And this is, uh, I, I think, well, I don't think, this is still, this GeForce Now still is beta. So, in the future, I don't know if they're going to charge, uh, make you guys play, make us pay a ticket for it. I remember the original GeForce Now was between 8 to $10 a month. So, right now it's free. Let me allow this. Right now it's uh, free, but in the future, I don't know, that could change. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna enjoy it to the last. You know, if they add a charge to it, I'll pay eight dollars a month. I don't mind. So I'm gonna press enter, log in. It's connecting already. It may ask you guys to enter your password right there, but it's just connected me. I should launch right into the game. That's how you have one do turn waiting. If it takes to, there it go. Also, when navigating through that Steam, I'll show you guys that. After this launches, because we're going to close the game. All right, it launches. So, I'm going to close this. We're going to go back to the NVIDIA games. Now, if that game that you do have... It's not in the GeForce Now cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Steam. So this is some more stores you can play. Log in to. I'm going to go to Steam. And play. Continue. I'm, and I'm going to go to a game that's not in the GeForce Now cloud. Remember, if you guys have any questions, this could be kind of confusing. Just ask questions. I'm going into Steam. So this is going to launch me directly into the Steam store. And you can purchase more games from this. You can download free games from this. I think that's my password. I have to change it now. <laughs> okay, so we're in the Steam store. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Also, it's easier with a keyboard. If you guys got a keyboard, a mini keyboard, it's definitely easier. I'm going to go to my library. And I can look at all my games here. Go down to games, games that I I, re, uh, I bought from the Steam store, and say a game is not included, and I want to play it. So let's do something, twine. Let me show you guys this too. How else to know? Games that's included. Have that check mark.
in games that you need to download have that download button with that arrow down button so if I wanted to play this on my shield I have to install it so it's telling me this game is currently not supported by GeForce now you may be able to install it and play it however you may have to reinstall the game each time you play it and your save games will only sync if the cloud steam cloud is enabled all right so that's pretty much letting you know that you have to download it if it's not in the GeForce Now cloud but it's still pretty cool because even after you download it this is still I believe this download is still going into the cloud and that's pretty that's pretty nice because on your PC you have to download all these games on your PC hard drive some people like that some people don't you know some of my hard you know hardcore gamer friends they like actually being able to download their games and uh, keep them they don't they don't like cloud at all so I think just cloud is pretty much the future of gaming almost so it's ready to play I can just hit enter on play and it's on and popping so these games are 1080p 60 frames per second what else I gotta show you guys every game it's not compatible with the controller. Some of these games you do need a keyboard depending on that game. So let's stay. Let me go back. Let's look at the Steam store. So this is the Steam store. Remember, I, I said you can think of it like Google uh, Play. You know how Google Play is with apps? The Steam store is with games. So you can purchase games. It's also games for free. So you go games. You can go free to play. Demos. Under $5, under $10. And I just like that you can play current games now at good quality with the NVIDIA Shield TV. I always thought that was one of the, the NVIDIA Shield TV's weakness was the variety of games they had in the GeForce Now store because it had all older games. Games that were three, four years old. Now you have access to anything in the Steam store. And that's, that's pretty cool, man. So... This is probably the game I'm buying next. Let me know, two guys. You can use all your Android comp uh, your controllers that are compatible with your NVIDIA Shield TV for gaming with Steam. You can use uh, headsets. I'm using my uh, headphones now. I do not know if you can communicate with other players using the um, speaker, though, the microphone yet. I haven't got a chance to check it. So let me know what guy, what games you guys are playing on Steam. And if we have similar games, I can check it with one of you guys. You know, you guys can add me. I believe I'll make the box yours on Steam. And if we have a similar game, I can check that out to see if the microphone's working yet. That was one of the problems when it first launched. Or if you guys know, I'm Stephen Cornelius. That was make the box yours on Stephen Cornelius. Or if you guys already know that the microphone works, make sure you guys tell me. So it's pretty cool, and it's 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 huge. It's huge for the Nvidia Shield TV. That's why I would love for them to make a tablet, because it'll be real nice having a portable Steam machine where I can just take it to my friend's house and put it on big screen mode, and you know we're gaming. You know, so I love it. So let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys did not know how to do it before this video, uh, comment and let me know if this helped you. If you still have questions, be sure just to comment and ask. I, I'm going to answer my questions within 24 hours. So I'm going to help you the best way I can. I try to explain this as easy as possible. And I'm going to put as much as I can into the description of the video that can help you as well and remember let me know what, what games you guys are playing on steam let me know what you guys think about this on the nvidia shield tv um 
what you like and what you don't like. And remember, it's still beta, so it's going to be things that, you know, happen that's unusual. So let me know, guys. I'm about to get out of here right now. Before I get out of here, the best way to support me is simply by liking the video, giving me a thumbs up, sharing the video, and helping somebody else. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and join that notification squad. And tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours. Thanks for watching, guys.